excitement does not describe what I feel right now. Oh my god. How's it going? My name's Helena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting off Galaxy Season by photographing M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy. The Pinwheel Galaxy is 21 million light years away from us here on Earth and it's located in the constellation Ursa Major along with many other deep sky targets for this season. I'm going to be photographing this deep sky target today with a Canon 7D, my EQ6R Pro mount and my Skywatcher ATED telescope with a focal length of 600 millimeters and an F ratio of F7.5. I found a spot in my garden where I can polar align quite nicely and get Ursa Major descending behind some trees in my garden. Tonight I am working with a 98% full moon. It is at the opposite end of the sky, so I'm quite lucky in that respect, and I'm gonna try and avoid it as best I can. Let's get straight into the setup of the new equipment and let's hope everything goes as planned. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm outside now. Excited doesn't describe what I'm feeling at the moment. My first few frames have just come in of the pinwheel galaxy. Photons have travelled 21 million light years to my camera sensor and I am buzzing about it. So this is my first light with the EQ6R Pro and the Skywatcher ATED. I can't describe in words how amazing this equipment is. The Lodestar X2 guide camera pulls such a neat graph in guiding. Really neat little machine. So I'm just getting my subs in now. They're looking crispy clear. I'm doing three minute subs at ISO 1600. I've already done my calibration frames. I did 15 dark and four, uh, 50 bias, sorry. So they should all stack together nicely. This is actually my second night, so the filming from before this, sorry I keep doing that, the filming from before this was two nights ago and this is the photo I got two nights ago. Really grainy, really noisy, no calibration frames but I was super stoked with it because it was my first night. Second images are looking like this. So there is quite a big difference and I'm very happy. This this um, is because I ordered a Batinoff mask and it came next day delivery and I've been using it for focusing and it's just incredible, I'm loving it. So I've got crisp, sharp focus on my stars. I've got some trailing tonight. I'm not sure whether that's just periodic error or whether my guiding is actually awful, but my graph looks decent, like not, amazing but decent so i don't see why there would be any trailing but it's like every three to four subs 
and then a satellite went through one but that's to be expected and yeah but um compared with two nights ago these pictures there's a huge difference in these pictures so i'm really really happy about that it's all about the learning curve and improving as I go along and every night I come out I'm learning something new and I'm bringing something new to my photographs and I think that's really exciting. There's like, there's always something new to learn so I'm never bored. I love a challenge and that's why I'm out here doing what I love um, and it's just awesome. Also, I'd just like to say that I created an Instagram from popular demand um, the other day. So link in the description, Helena's underscore Astro. Go and check that out. Give it a follow. Um, I decided to make it for two reasons. One, obviously for you guys. And two was because Facebook, Helena's Astro Photography, um, on my Facebook, Facebook compresses astro images and i can upload high res png files to instagram without a problem so i really think it just shows the full um potential of my photographs really on instagram so that was that those were the two main reasons for doing it tonight i'm using a canon 7d rather than um my 1100d because my 1100d is having a huge problem with the sensor at the moment and there's lots and lots of smudges um on the sensor so i'm going to have to send it off after this whole world situation is over and um, for now a really kind friend up the road has let me borrow their camera so i really appreciate that thank you very much I was actually planning on doing plate solving for tonight's imaging session um, through APT's point craft. I did set that up in advance. I had a few major malfunctions, can we say? So I moved on to three star alignment instead. I star aligned an Arcturus, Vega and Attic and then slowed straight to the pinwheel and it was in the frame. And it was as easy as that. And here comes mum with my tea. Be right back guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for everything. Yesterday I reached a thousand subscribers, which is just incredible. I never imagined that would happen a year on. Um, you guys are allowing me to inspire others and particularly younger women in science. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and well wherever you are and managing to enjoy the clear skies when you can. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, happy stargazing and stay safe.